let's talk about range of motion for that American kettlebell swing. So remember, the American swing is where we're going overhead with the kettlebell, but I want to go ahead and talk about the fact that we're just going overhead. That doesn't mean directly overhead with that kettlebell, okay? So we're never going to force it right here if we don't have the range of motion to do that. When we're at the top of a kettlebell swing, our hands are together, which is the hardest position to have our hands over our head without letting our back round. So you gotta think, if you can have your hands together, get them straight over your head, and keep that chest down, then you are able to go into that full overhead American swing, okay? But for 99.9% .9 of us, this is a very hard position, you can hear me struggling to talk, to stay in. So most of us, we put our hands over our head, we naturally arch our back just a little bit to get those hands over our head. And if we're doing a kettlebell swing, this is what it looks like if you don't have that range of motion. And you can see that arch in my back as I try to get that kettlebell where I think it should be. So we're not gonna do that today. What we do at our gym is we scale to just uh, bring our hands above our eyes, all right? So we're never gonna force that kettlebell back. We're just going above the eyes with the kettlebell for our American swing. Then you can keep your chest down without any worries of overarching your back to get that weight back. So it's only about an inch difference. You're not going to get uh, penalized. It's not a competition. You might get a gold star if you do well in the workout today. Don't worry about that last inch. Keep your chest down. And just get that kettlebell above your eyes.